Hello and uh, welcome to TMP uh, MBS, the North Pacific Northern Broadcasting Service on YouTube or Spotify, or if you're listening to uh, our own Discord channel as well uh, on on TMP Gen Discord. Welcome. Uh, today, this is the second part of a three part series with um, Clarissa Hanashiro, the uh, former president of uh, the Free Nations Region. And uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome back, Clarissa. Hello, I'm Clarissa Hanashiro. And Hi. if you happen to listen to the first part of the episode, I'm the former president of the Free Nations Federation. And I've suffered for a year from last April to this April. Yeah, in the, in the last uh, episode, uh, we talked a lot about, uh, we, we briefly touched on FNR um, and on consent in FNR, but then we also talked a bit about the, the history of um, FNR and didn't elaborate further. Um, would you like to talk a bit more about how um, how this works in FNR and why it is so important to um, FNR? Yeah. I think I'll talk about my consent because FNR and FNS in principle is being to be a safe space for people of any culture, of any kind, of any gender, or if you're of LGBTQ oriented. And like we want to keep it a safe space because like there is a lot of lot of negativity into in the internet already, and you did not need to be another region filled with like traps for people to escape from real life. And so we, in role play, this is called consent. For those role players who are not accustomed to consent, consent in, in general means that you need your partner's acceptance to do something before you actually do that thing. Because like in nations role play, a major component of it is the teams of different nations, like a uh, uh, like nation A tries to go to war to with nation B, and then if it is not consented, it may lead to a lot of problems, like out of character arguments, like I. Argue with you that you should not be able to fight me, or you shouldn't have fight me because, like, that's damaging to your economy, or something like that. And so, to prevent this sort of disputes, we have established a system of concerns that are required to do something offensively. Like, for example, if you want to declare, you have to find a good reason enough reason to the moderators to let them know that why you are like fighting this war out or you have to have consent from the other party and then you have to have other stuff necessary for the role playing of war. Um, Carissa, sorry, I think you're breaking up a little bit. Uh, you said consent for role play four and then you started to break up. A consent for role play for at the oh, beginning, oh, right? About, yeah, about no, 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 um, uh, about the uh, uh, I think you talked about consent, um, uh, at the beginning about war, uh, after that, yeah. uh, it's only in the last 15 seconds that you, you were breaking uh, up. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. So, to begin a war in FNRP, you have to have one major thing, you have to have either a good enough reason to let the moderation know why the, why you are fighting this war out and, or you have to have consent from the other party so that they agree with you waging this war. You can ask that, hey, would that lead to no wars being fought? It is, it is, there is considerably less wars fought after the implementation of consent, just because that, like, not everybody enjoys work. Okay, I see, I see, uh, I see. So, so moderator plays a much more uh, 
plays a uh, plays a critical role in the in the entire uh, RP process. I guess more so than some regions, um, because if you if you, uh, so, but you're still moderator of the of the RP at M and R, right? So I mean, you still yeah. have to be pretty much online all the time to be. You know, moderating um, and to you know adjudicate and things, right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I have been recently taking a more active position because, like, after I I left the role of president from the FNF, I went into a bridge from nation states. They can still pay me if they want, but I wouldn't like. Go out to the every day and like be online. In that sense, I have a great team of very talented moderators doing this thing. I have been working with them for the term of the for like two years, and I, I really like to thank them for the work they do. The, they tore out and the prof professionalism that they moderate the role play to stop arguments, to, to moderate the flow of the RP, to, to give a spark to the ORP. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, that, that, that makes sense. Um, so that's still pretty uh onerous um uh work for you, right? As 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 um as um the RP moderator. Um yeah. has there been any, you know, particularly particularly difficult instances, you know, as uh, as um yeah. uh, that that you were particularly memorable that you wanted to share with us. We have you don't have to name, name names, um, but you don't have to name names. You know, just just do it anonymous. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah. But if, <laughs> is are there any particular memorable moments that you want to share with us? There definitely is. Like, there are a lot of times where I have to educate difficult things, and there was a time where. We have some arguments within the moderation chat room, and then it was like it was back one year ago, and then at the end it was resolved peacefully. But yeah, after that, we placed more emphasis. People not being able to just just number crunching and just well, not other on economics. Us like people really want to be the best in something. If you let them, they will argue about it. Like if you have a ranking for the best in, like best in the length of a foot of a tree, they will go to a lot of. They will go to very long lengths to ensure that. The tree is the is the most tallest, is the longest, is x is the first in x. Sorry, sorry, you're breaking up a little bit, uh, Clarissa. So your it just your trip is the longest, is the is the most, um, uh, the most is the lo longest. Yeah. Oh, so it's so. the most everything. So it's sort of more like a. <laughs> Uh, a competition for for just for number one in 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 some category. Uh, yeah, may I say? Yeah, people will go to lengths to be number one. In... Okay, okay. Um, how, how how many active role players are there? So you mentioned last time, I think you were what uh six seven uh in eighty ninety people in 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 the in the. The Discord. Um, I, I, I think I'm just looking at your, um, uh, I mean, because your, 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 your Discord is huge, like five hundred and seven, five hundred yeah. odd, five hundred, six hundred people. Uh, but um, twelve is a lot of the visitors. So how many are actually you know active role players? I think 
for the last time we had an election for the okay, okay. it was like around that's that's a reasonable number because like it is generally good to have one staff member for four players so as to not overload staff members and to spread the work equally for four or two five like that i have seen service with one staff for eight members and i'd say that that's not sustainable for a long time okay okay yeah that makes that makes a lot of sense that makes a lot of sense um um yeah and also how how many moderators are there? Is it just just you, or is it like um um uh? Do you have other uh um moderators helping you? How many moderators are there in um in uh in uh uh Evan I think uh last time we have seen because like we apart from four moderators, we do have other assistive roles like. Economy advisors and military advisors, and the total team should be around eight or ten or so. I think it's around ten from last time I've seen them. That's still a pretty, pretty big team, you know. Ten, ten, ten is still a pretty, still a pretty large, large, large team. Yeah, and with a large team, there are benefits like not overloading a single member and not needing to DM burn out. In PRPT circles, like a tabletop role games like PNB or Cost of Windows or Pathfinder, there is a term called DM burn out for this kind of, there is just much, there's just too many clerical work for one person to do, like scheduling stuff for in real life games, of course, there is no need to schedule stuff, on, but there is also the usual things like arguments, like rules lawyers, or just general player to player antagonism. Like, that is a usual thing because the whole premise of nations role play is nations are pitted on a single map to like do stuff. So there are definitely bound to be player versus player moments, whether friendly or and then and the listening or and then the moderators have to do their best to stop them and to like give them goals where they can work to. In a sense, give them a common goal can have to alleviate a lot of this kinds of antagonism because like they are built because like nations are supposed to one up on each other like you see in real life, but like in a more virtual world, in a in a fantasy world, or in a imaginative world, is it the, is it the promise that nations have to one up each other? I do not think so. Um. Hey. Sorry. Um. Uh, I think Chris. I think I've um. You, you're breaking up a little bit again. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think we will we will stop here for the second part of our uh our, of our conversation. Um uh in the third part, uh as Clarissa and I agreed to we'll talk about the governance structure of F and R and also you know the difference between governance in an uh in F in in a user creator region like F and R and the Frontier and the Stronghold um versus our uh GCR uh at TMP. Um You've been listening to the North Pacific um, Northern Broadcasting Service um, on YouTube, on Spotify, or on Discord. And um, if you are listening to us on our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. I give a currently not a citizen 
of TMP, please go to our website and apply for citizenship. The citizenship vote matters uh, because um, and your WA vote also matters because as the largest region in um, uh, nation states, of course, we have the strongest voice and we have the um, the best uh, resources available to further your career if you want to take the direction of uh, being in GA or SC. Um, thanks very much, Carissa. Um, uh, thanks so much for your time. Bye.